Hello everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me as always. And in today's Spotlight we are covering the Rail Signal Planner Mod. Uh, this one has been around a good while and for some reason, as usual, I have not spotlighted it before, uh, but I'm glad I am now because it looks pretty awesome. So. As you probably guessed already, this adds a special planner to the game, uh, much like a decom planner or upgrade planner that kind of will auto place signals for you um, based on what it thinks is best and some settings you set. Uh, now, it does do it mostly correctly. It's not com completely correct all the time. You know, it's a, it's a script, it's a mod, it's not gonna be correct 100% of the time. So I would definitely suggest double checking your signaling after using this, but it does save you a lot of the manual work. Um, so it adds this here, you can access it with Alt S by default, you could change that in your settings or just click on it here. Um, and you can right click it to change some settings. Um, so this is obviously default, I would just leave this, there's no reason to change this. Um, the train length is the locomotives, number of locomotives and wagons. So I set this to four. So this could be, it's basically four like train parts. So it could be a loco and three wagons or two locos and two wagons. Etc. That's just the number of things in the train, basically. Um, and then the length in tiles will automatically calculate based on this setting. So if I change this, for example, to six, you can see it's automatically changing this. Um, I'm going to set it back to four. Um, you could adjust this though if you want. And then the rail signal distance, um, the default was actually eight, and it did not change based on the dis the length of my train. Um, I typically like my signals to just be a full train length apart on the like big, uh, big stretches of track, which is what the setting's mostly for. Uh, but if you want higher throughput, you could leave it lower. I, I just set it to like half the distance of the train length, just for example. Um, so there's that. Uh, we have a junction here that I've taken the signals out of just to show an example. This is how it was signaled originally. Uh, and you can, I mean, I'm not gonna show every single signal, but generally speaking, there's chain signals um, before crosses all throughout the thing at like the intersection and then rail signals before merges and sometimes at the end of the path. Um, so that's what it looks like now. Um, before we use this, a very important part, guys, is you need to indicate your directions. Otherwise, it's just gonna make every single rail bi-directional, which creates a mess. Um, so what we're gonna do is place a signal here and here to indicate that you know we're doing right-hand drive. I'm in the US, so that's how we drive. Um, so I'm signaling this like that just to indicate, and then I need to do the same here um, again. So this is gonna be there and there. I guess I didn't remove those yet. Uh, and then this is gonna be here and here. And I'll just stick them at the end to just to make sure. I mean, that should very be, be very plain that that is how that works. Um, but just to be sure for this example, we're gonna set that. So now it knows which direction the, the flow on these rails go. So at this point, we just take this and we drag, I'm actually gonna turn off my bots for a moment um, and select this and it's going ahead, gonna go ahead and place signals. Um, and I'm gonna let my bots place them and then after they're placed, we're gonna compare it to the original junction and see how it does compare. Um, now, it actually auto marks things for deconstruction that it deems as being incorrect. Um, and the, the reason these are so close, see, like this is super close. This is way closer than I'd want. Um, but this is the 13 tiles, I believe, that I set. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so I would set this like definitely a, a farther distance, but you can do whatever you want. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, for the most part, it looks pretty good, uh, aside from the signals being super close together. If we take the original one and overlap it here, I'm gonna kind of get out of the way. Um, there are some differences. It is using a lot more chain signals, which doesn't really hurt, I don't think. Um, you know, there's like a lot of chain signals where I would put normal signals, um, but that's not really a bad thing. And then it maybe just put them in a little bit of a different place, but generally speaking, it's like the same signaling. Um, I, I would say this is pretty correct. I would have to look at it closely, but uh, this looks pretty good. Uh, now, if we just, I have a long set, uh, stretch of track here to um, just demonstrate that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just jump this up to match the distance of my longest train. In fact, I'm actually gonna go a little bigger than that. Um, and then we're gonna select this and, oh right, we didn't indicate a direction. <laughs> there we go, so hopefully that should work then. So you can see now, um, so it's moving these and then, yeah, so it's a little wonky. Again, you do wanna like double check this, it's kind of offset these, which is, really not what I would want. Um, but it is placing them the correct distance away from each other that I set. 
uh, and you know, it's pretty straightforward. So that's the mod guys. It's super simple. Um, I think it just saves you a lot of work. Again, you may have to just double check, tweak some things to get out how you like, but it does save a lot of, uh, you know, manual work of placing all these signals individually for the first time. Um, you know, once you get your junctions made and blueprinted, you're good to go. But, um, this is really nice for the initial work in terms of settings here real quick. There are none, um, research that there really isn't, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, it just is a planner. So there's no research connected to it. And that's it. I hope you find it helpful. And uh, if you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them below in the comments. There is, as always, a link in the description to the Mod Portal page where you can check this out. And uh, until next time, I look forward to seeing you all. Do take care. And if you did enjoy, a like is appreciated. If you're new, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.